is good. Yeah, it's your boys hi, back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over and talking about how I believe that this season, not perfect, is better than we initially thought. Now, I know it might uh, make some people mad that I'm saying this, but I think it's something that needs to be said and talked about. Now, the game mode's not perfect, man, but I'm going to say it like this. 2K is one step from making this game mode about as good as we've ever seen, and this season specifically, about as good as we've seen. Now, let's start by talking about why I think this season's better than we initially thought. Well, yesterday, we saw a free Galaxy Opal Mark Gasol, who is one of the best bigs in the entire game. That's not behind gambling, like he is. Mark Gasol is really good. Obviously, we're gonna see, I think, free content tomorrow as well. Terry's good. The rewards in Unlimited have been really, really good as well. I just made 45,000 MT by picking up Franz, selling him back, and then obviously, Terry, Lowry, uh, 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 along the way, like we've got a lot of really good rewards in Unlimited, and the other game modes are the exact same way. I do believe that I've had a lot of fun so far playing this season, despite my squad staying the exact same. So let's briefly talk about the change that 2K needs to make eventually. All they've got to do is put these dark matters in the player market for like 300 400 whatever they want thousand mt so that instead of having to gamble for dark matters which probably would be the better option the the more uh smart option with your mt with your vc is to gamble for it but you shouldn't be forced to for example if somebody wants to in this eclipse set go and get the dark matter larry bird they should be able to for 400 500 thousand mt same thing with chris depp's porzingis same things with all these guys and you could put derrick rose for 200 thousand mt nick young for 300,000 MT, Sean Kemp 300, Jimmy 300, and then KP Larry Bird maybe even more expensive. That's okay. That's fine. And then keep this Giannis as a special insert if they really want to. Like nobody's going to get this Giannis anyway. And if this is what 2K wants to do, people are still going to rip the packs in hopes to get Giannis onto the Kumpo. Otherwise, you know what? Make Giannis 2 million MT in the player market for all I care, man. Like I, I, at this stage, I literally do not care. The only thing I don't like is that it's all behind gambling. That's all they've got to do is put those cards in the player market forget this collection reward thing and go from there with that being said guys this season i think has been surprisingly decent for me and and again you guys can let me know if you guys aren't having fun with the game right now and we could talk about it but from the ball drops i mean i've seen rafe lafrenz clay thompson jonathan isaac on so many boards thus far and i've got rafe a couple of times now obviously i've already got rafe so he doesn't really help me but let's say for a beginner you know what instead of having to go buy rafe lafrenz you get a you know top 10 15 center in the entire game for absolutely free same thing with jonathan isaac he can play at a super high level same thing in uh, triple threat online you can go and get dino raja who can play at a really high level clutch time online you've got franz wagner so you've got a lot of guys that can play at a really high level and i think that is important when you have revo rewards like this and guess what if i grind 20 unlimited games i'm gonna end up with a dark matter card as well in terry dishinger and guess what guys that's only unlimited right now next week we'll probably see an update to what, what what's it gonna be triple threat offline i think next week in which we're gonna get a dark matter in there on next friday as well so i mean look is is the all gambling stuff sad yes it absolutely is right now but 2k is one simple change one simple change from making this the best game we've seen and it's crazy that i'm saying that considering you know yes this is the main content comes on friday so the fact that we have to basically ignore that every friday is super annoying but the rest of the game is good we're seeing a lot of free cards a ton of free cards uh obviously salary cap dark matter to kembe matumbo if you get him after three weeks my team unlimited again you get uh terry for winning 20 games and if you don't like unlimited guess what guys wait till next week you're gonna get another free dark matter as well initially when this season dropped i was like you know what this season's horrible 
It's, it, it can't get any worse than this because guess what? We saw an all gambling set. Now what 2K did that has helped is they've updated these season rewards. Now what I don't like is that it says available until May 17th. These need to be updating every couple of weeks. Keep the community engaged. I'm not even saying the cards got to become a ton better in here, but put different cards in here to compare just just make the community more and more engaged because like for me i've already got rafe i've already got jonathan isaac and unlimited so after i get those guys and what if i get clay thompson then what am i really grinding for in the unlimited ball drop prizes like mt that's basically it speaking of mt guys i've got 2.5 million mt just sitting here waiting like what am i supposed to do with that mt i guess 2k wants me to gamble it but that's where i'm like you know what 2k if and, and here's what I don't understand from their perspective. If they make Giannis even 1 million MT, KP 400K, Larry Bird 400K in the player market, like that's okay. 2K would make so much money off of that by itself. Like I just don't understand. The player market had so much potential this year, even with these types of drops. It has so much potential. 2K would make so much money. If every week people had to spend a set amount on these types of guys, they would make so much money because you can buy MT directly. You can buy VC directly. 2K would make so, so, so much money. The only thing that would change is it wouldn't be all hidden behind gambling. And again, if the, it, 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 that, that's the only change that needs to be made for this my team to be so good. Because look, if, if I could buy all of these players directly, you know what? Here's what I would do. Even do this 2K. Make these cards can stay the same price. Then put all the dark matters in the player market for whatever price you want and lock it in for Giannis. Do you know how much money 2K would make if let's say I'm just I'm just brainstorming. Let's say, you know, let's say 200K, 200K, 300K, 300K, 400K, 400K. Okay, so between all of them, you're looking at two mil plus the other pink diamonds and galaxy opals. It's not cheap. Obviously, you could get a discount if you bought it with VC. You'd be looking at $200 for Giannis. Like, that would be so fun because obviously you don't have to lock in for Giannis. I probably wouldn't lock in for the 100 overall Giannis. I'd just get my favorite Dark Matter and move on. But then you give people the opportunity to just buy Giannis for a set price instead of having to gamble for him. Is that too much to ask for 2K? Like, that's the only change that needs to be made. I'm having so much fun playing my team Unlimited. Even these other games modes with the with the rewards they are actually really really solid it just comes down to the sole fact one simple change needs to be made for this to be probably the most fun i think i've had in a very long time playing my team it just stinks again tomorrow we're gonna see free content that's awesome but it just stinks every friday loading up the game knowing exactly what we're gonna get the same copy and paste gambling only content that's just not accessible for the majority of the community. You can't put an E-rated game out here and have to gamble for cards. It just should not be like that. You should be able to buy cards directly from the player market. Uh, and, and that's just kind of my opinion on things. But look, guys, we have seen a pretty solid start to the season. 2K, you've got to keep it up. Like, honestly, obviously, there are still some things that needs to be improved for sure, but you've got to keep it up. Maybe drop in some spotlight sims sometime this season. Obviously, free cards every Tuesday would help out. Maybe a new domination. Any extra content that we can get for free is going to make this game mode go because not everybody wants to sit there, load up, uh, you know, VC every Friday to gamble on packs. Packs that for a dark matter, you have a 2% chance. And for Giannis, it's still less than 2%. We'll say at least you have a 2% chance of pulling a dark matter, and that's no longer less than 2%. That's, I guess, a step in the right direction. Let me know your thoughts on this season so far, guys. Is it just me? Or are you guys having more fun with the season as well? I mean, they've, they've done some good things with free cards, with rewards, making the game easy to be no money spent. They have. The problem is there's nothing to do with your MT right now, and that really does rub me the wrong way. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.